Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona channel in English. Well, after the pre the post match against that against Mallorca, that match that we suffered so much for winning today, we have many news to talk about, many information or much information. Sorry. So let's start. But before starting, let me remind you: if you don't again, if you like Barcelona, if you don't like Barcelona, I repeat it again: you are in the wrong place. If you like Barcelona, you don't want to miss any of our videos, then down there, there is a red button that you can hit to subscribe and like this, you will not miss any of the information of the club, of the team of your dreams. And without more delay, let's just... Well, this is the problem of not having a prompt, a prompter and start talking however you want. No, that this is the problem of the direct. That I even I plan what I have to say, even though I I I, I say things wrong. No? Well, this is the information of the day. It seems that there is a renewed agreement between. Uh, Sergi Roberto and Barcelona. No? This contrasts with the information I'm going to talk about because uh, this renewal has a lot of consequences. Okay, important renewal of for one year, and the salary that Sergi Roberto is going to perceive is less than 50% of what he was getting previously. So imagine if he was getting four millions, probably now he's going to get one million. 800,000 euros. Yeah, I know, I know. It sounds a lot of money, but for a player with a trajectory or with a career like Sergi Roberto, it's not that much, no? The point here is that Sergi Roberto and Barcelona had an agreement or were, were in conversations since long, actually since last summer. Uh, and there was an agreement a pre-agreement, but it seems that Sergi Roberto broke that agreement because he received other offers. Offers as, for example, Atletico Madrid, or if I don't remember wrong, even Bayern Munich. But finally, since that the Catalonian player, the Catalonian player, oh my God, uh, he wanted to stay in Barcelona. Also, economically, he confessed is this, sorry, uh, economically, the other offers were not much far better than Barcelona's one. So I guess as the agreement was more or less done, Barcelona reduced it a bit. Say, well, we have to reduce the salary, I'm sorry. And they offer just one year. Consequences, first clear, this kid. Ricky Puch, because if now having three or four center uh, midfielders, because we don't have really much more. Ricky Puch is not playing. Imagine having having Sergio Roberto. I guess Barcelona wants to, to renew, and when I'm talking about renew, it's not about a contract. They want to renew and make the team younger. They In the, the board of directors, they think that our team is a bit old, and time to time they're trying to reduce that age that average age to make it more a, a younger team, to be honest, to be clear. No? And the point here is that having Sergio Roberto, which I think it's my age, 29 or 30, I'm not sure, then what happened with Ricky Puch, who is 23, 24 years old? I mean, we are talking about five years difference. The problem of Sir, uh, actually, Ricky Puch the other day, I think he played quite well. So. The problem thing is that the attitude of the player, of uh, Ricard Puch, is not that uh, good and Xavi may not like some aspects of this and that's why lately he's playing nothing. Even, for example, against Mallorca, if we'd got 3-0, I think he would have some minutes, no? But difficult. Also, consequences of the renewal is that Gavi is Gavi, no? What's going to happen? As I'm saying, the team wants to make the the club the or the sorry the club wants to make the team younger. Gavi is an important player even now that with 17 years uh, that he is of age that he is well whatever. And so 
Cam in Sergio Roberto. Sergio Roberto probably is going to come more like uh, another player to stay less to play to give uh, rest time or to let rest players like Gabi, Pedri, or Frankie de Jong. But anyway, this may condition it a bit the negotiations for Gabi. Actually, Gabi and Barcelona are going to start talking again or well, not again are going to keep talking about that renewal but don't forget that many other teams from europe they want also the uh, the player i think he's from andalusia so the andalusian player well other player who is waiting for renewals or for a call from barcelona is dani alves Dani Alves is waiting for barcelona to confirm that next season is going to stay i think barcelona should i mean even I think his salary should be a bit better. And I, I have two reasons for this. First one is not playing that bad. And when we need him, he's there. It's obviously, sorry, obviously he's not the player that he was, but he has a lot of quality yet. And also we don't have another person in that part of the field, in that position that you could say, well, we don't need Dani Alves. Desk, but more or less they are the same. Desk actually defensively is that weak, while Alves is still has that that thing yet. No, so I think we need him at least for one season more to last to let Desk uh, improve if Barcelona wants to keep him. No, other news I read, for example, is that Ter Stegen is going is not going to play the Nations League uh, this June. That it starts this June because of the World Cup is on October and November, if I'm not wrong. And he said that he has been three years non-stop, stopping just like three, four, well, two or three weeks. And he decided to take a long break. So he's not going to go with Germany. No? Good news for us, because like this, the goalkeeper is going to be rested for the next season. No? And other things I'm reading, for example, problems for Barcelona in the forward, I understand. The problem really is not that we have... Uh, it, I understand the problem is that we have many players, I'm counting, and we have eight players already for three positions. Now, Some of these players have to leave. I mean, what is Brathwaite doing in Barcelona? Again, I repeat it, and last season it was great for him, but this season is not even counting much. Later when we needed him, he got injured, he has had that long injury. And now he's not that relevant. So I think the best for him and for the club is to let him go. And the same for Luke De Jong, sadly. And for Adama. No. Uh, these two players are being sometimes quite uh, important for the club. Adama with the assistance. Luke De Jong with goals. But Barcelona has been, uh, Barcelona's intentions are clear. We don't have money to pay these players. And we have to let them go. Even though Xavi wants Luc de Jong. I read the other day, and it makes sense, that Xavi doesn't have a profile like Luc de Jong, a specialist with a header. And he wants him to stay at least for whenever he needs a striker like Luc de Jong. But Barcelona is saying that it's impossible because actually it's Sevilla's player and Sevilla wants to sell him to, uh, to the Premier League. But well, we may receive... Lewandowski, who is another striker, another killer in the area. And that's a great information. So think of it that with the salary we have to pay for breath weight, uh, Luke De Jong and Adam, I'm not sure how much we are paying, but I don't think that much. We can save that, that salary and then get Lewandowski to get that position that Luke De Jong needs other players who we need to leave to get more salary uh, to be av available is Umtiti. Barcelona is starting to let him go to the League One. I think is the best. I mean, he has been one year without playing. I think just he played one match, and thanks God. And even though he was promising he's in the best shape, his best years are over. He should be in within his worst years, but he's not. So. And I think this is the last information I have, which has been a bit long. Yeah. Mm, Kessie, Kessie to uh, Barcelona has a pre agreement with Kessie and his agents. He's going to be a Barcelona player for sure. We will talk about this 
when he comes to Barcelona, when the announcement is official. But, <clears throat> sorry, but some newspapers are having some doubts about the capacity of Kessier uh, in the midfield. Now, I have my doubts too, I, I, but also this is because I never saw him playing. So I have my doubts founded in the aspect that I never saw him. <laughs> So, but I know the dynamic, the dynamism that Barcelona has in the midfield is difficult to adapt. For example, for me, it's impossible. I couldn't adapt to that because you have to have a lot of uh, peripheric vision, also uh, fast thinking, um, fast movements, fast pass. Not just, sometimes it's not even receiving the ball. Just you have to pass the ball suddenly. That it's very difficult, and I have my doubts because not every player can adapt to this system so well which one which players do you think should come and should leave the club that would be wonderful for me to know so leave your opinion down there in the comment section hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one have a nice day